So this is a video to um, help you with signing the housing assistance payment contract, also known as the HAP contract, uh, once the PHA has submitted it to you. Um, so here I'm logged in as a landlord um, at our test PHA. Um, so I'll click on manage RAFTA. Once I click on manage RAFTA, I can either select the name of the person from the email that said it was ready for. So I can put in their name here. Um, I can also search by uh, the RAFTA number. So I can see 819212 here. Um, or I can just go to the status and choose HAP sent to landlord. So this is the one that I want to go for. So I want to click on action. Open the RAFTA. And then I want to scroll down on this left hand side. So I want to click on the HAP contract here. Now if I go in here and this is still blue and there's no information on the lease term or the household members, that probably means that the HAP contract is not ready for the landlord to sign it. Um, but here I see that the household members um, are already entered and it's grayed out. And again, this is for a test um, RFTA. So this is all fake data here. Um, and I see the initial lease term is 2-1-2023. Um, so the first thing that I want to do uh, is add my information for um, my print or type my name here. Make sure this mail payments to is filled out um, and this is filled out correctly. So again, if it's blue, I can change this so I can add, you know, let's say if it's instead of ABC Enterprises, it's actually see ABC Enterprises LLC. And if your address is changed, you know, you can add um, this address here. Um, and I can just put the zip code as one, two, three, four, five. Um, and the other thing that I want to make sure of is um, in my additional documents um, that there's a lease agreement. So here there's no lease agreement. So I want to go and go to lease agreement here, uh, choose the file, click on sample lease agreement. Now, whenever I do this lease agreement, um, I will also want to add the notes that, you know, lease is updated with all Household members and uh, we start and end dates match the HAP contract. All right. So whenever I do this, I want to make sure that the HAP contract, this is listed here, that all the the start dates and end dates and every single household member um, is listed on the lease. That the contract unit, if this were an apartment number, to make sure that the apartment number matches. Um, and also that the lease start date matches this lease term on the HAP contract. So this is, uh, these two need to match like the uh, starting and end date. Also the rent to owner has to match and all the household members in the unit information all have to match the lease and the HAP contract. So once that's done, I go back and I click sign here. Confirm, got it. And then I just submit the form here. So once I click on this, this HAP contract would be submitted successfully. Um, I go back to Manage Rafta, and I'll see uh, that this HAP contract has been submitted. Thanks.